Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. Hawker Hunter is a British transonic fighter jet whose development began in late 1940s. The type entered service with RAF in 1954 and it achieved great export success too. No less than 20 nations operated this type, which makes the Hunter one of the most successful British export aircraft of all times. One of the earliest and largest operators of Hunter was India. The country expressed an interest to purchase the fighter as early as 1954 and the order was placed in 1957 for 160 Hunters. The type first saw action during the 1962 invasion of Goa, but actual combat waited until 1965 when the country clashed with Pakistan. Indian Air Force found the Hunter rugged and reliable and ordered additional 53 single-seaters and 12 two-seaters after the war. In 1971, when yet another war with Pakistan broke out, Hawker Hunter was the third most numerous combat aircraft in Indian service, judging by the number of available airframes. After the initial Pakistani airstrikes against Indian air bases on 3rd December 1971, India launched its own counter-air and close-air support campaign, and hunters played a major role in it. Sometimes, during their ground attack missions, they would meet Pakistani aircrafts and combat between them developed. At least three kills by hunters against Pakistani sabers were scored on 4th December in the eastern sector or modern-day Bangladesh. The first kill for the hunter in the western sector, which can be confirmed by both sides, occurred on 10 December. Pakistani army was attempting to capture the strategically important town of Champ, and aircraft from both sides were involved in the battle. Two Pakistani F-86 Sabres from 26 Squadron led by Squadron Leader Aslam Chowdhury with Flight Lieutenant Rahim Yusuf Zai as his wingman arrived to the sector to provide close air support. They spotted two Indian hunters belonging to No. 20 Squadron attacking ground targets. The Indian flight was led by Squadron Leader Ravinder Nath Bharadwaj. He had previously led a number of strike missions, including one on Murid Air Base, where his flight destroyed no less than five Pakistani sabers on the ground. He and his wingmen now commenced their attacks against Pakistani ground targets, but both of them were hit by ground fire. As the two hunters were pulling away, the Pakistani wingman, Flight Lieutenant Yusuf Zai, slipped behind one of them and fired a long burst with his machine guns. Many of his rounds hit. As the Sabre was attacking his victim, the other hunter, flown by squadron leader Bharadwaj, was able to maneuver behind the Pakistani leader and he opened fire with his cannons.
squadron leader Aslam Chowdhury had no chance to eject and he was killed as his saber hit the ground. The Pakistani pilot had previously flown 15 combat missions. Some Pakistani sources claim that he was fighting no less than six Indian hunters in this combat, but the most reliable one only mentions two, just like Indian sources, so we can assume that this number is accurate. The other hunter, flown by Flight Lieutenant Karambaya, survived the damage and was able to limp home. Squadron leader Bharadwaj continued his career in the Indian Air Force and eventually reached the rank of Air Marshal. He retired in 1993. After the 1971 war, Indian hunters were progressively replaced by types such as MiG-21 and Jaguar, but some served until 1999. If you want to see more videos about hunters in combat, leave a comment. Thank you for your support and keep watching Showtime 112.